Hello there, in this video I will experiment with reactivity of aluminum with sodium and potassium hydroxides. At this point I should say that this might be dangerous, but if you don't know that these two hydroxides are corrosive, will burn your skin and eyes and still play with those chemicals then maybe you deserve to be blind. Ok, be safe. I wanted to see how they both react with aluminum and maybe see if any of them reacts faster. Or better, in any way. Let's get on with it. First I will react the same mass of hydroxides with the same mass of aluminum foil in the same amount of water. So I take 2 grams of hydroxides and dissolve them in 10 milliliters of water. I weigh 2 sheets of aluminum foil, half a gram each of and try to make 2 identical small balls. Both solutions should be left alone for a while, so the temperatures are the same. This really surprised me. Sodium hydroxide dissolved aluminum really fast, as expected, but potassium hydroxide is doing so poorly. It took about 20 minutes for potassium hydroxide to dissolve aluminum and only less than 3 minutes for sodium hydroxide to do the job. For the second experiment I will use moles instead of grams. We will work here in 20 millimole scale. Theoretically I need 60 millimoles of water for every 20 millimoles of hydroxide for this reaction, but I will use 4 times as much water so 4.32 grams. For sodium hydroxide it is 0.8 grams and for potassium hydroxide 1.12 grams.
aluminum needed is 20 millimoles which is about 0.54 grams, but I will use less, so it would be clearer, when the reaction is over. I am now thinking that potassium hydroxide is much less reactive with aluminum, so I don't expect to see a fast reaction, but I was surprised again. When in same molar ratios both hydroxides behave very similarly. This shows, how important is the stoichiometry and concentrations when doing the chemistries. Sodium hydroxide still won, but only by a minute. Thank you for watching, subscribe and like. And don't really burn your eyes out. Bye.